guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. Got up, drinking my second cup of coffee, a little bit more slow moving, but I thought I would do something a little bit different today. It's probably gonna be my kid's dream day, possibly. I'll let you know, you know why? Today is gonna be an all day ramen day. So <laughs> people are like, ramen, that's so bad for you. Well, it's just something a little bit different today. So I got these wonderful cookbooks from one of my viewers, Barbara. She sent me these cookbooks around Christmas time. And so I got them. I'm like, oh my goodness, look how cool this is. So look through these. I got them all on my pages mark. They've got things like um, ramen tacos and bread and things. And look, look at it. It's like s'mores and things. And so we went through this cookbook and they've got some, just some of them are um, more like like macaroni and cheese with ramen basically just replace the ramen the noodles that you would put in macaroni and cheese and just do you know the same thing but some are pretty different little things and so i went through it and i thought why don't i do breakfast lunch and dinner and a treat in ramen today because you know my kids would just go well they might just go yay they might go oh my goodness mom why did you ruin the ramen <laughs> We're gonna try something different. So today is a dedicated ramen day. So we're just gonna get making some foods. I went through these two cookbooks. These are the two cookbooks. You can find them on Amazon and got some recipes. This one didn't have as many. This one um, was more of like, like broccoli ramen Alfredo. Basically it's Alfredo and just put in ramen noodles and just different things like that. There wasn't like, there's <laughs> something we're gonna do in here. Like, ramen noodle soup so it's basically just put ramen in the place of where a different noodle would be but they did have one recipe as you can see that i'm going to do in there but this one was a little bit uh just more fun more fun like for the ramen lovers and then she sent a whole bunch of ramen with it too so that just made it go so much better so i went through it i'm like all right what can we make that has ramen for breakfast so this is what we came up with. So for ramen for breakfast, I was looking up, there was different, uh, <laughs> there was only two in here that was had anything like resembling eggs, you know, or something. I thought maybe they'd have a pancake ramen, but they didn't have that. <laughs> so came up with, there was a Western ramen frittata, and I thought I said frittata, for those that like to speak it properly, frittata, and then this one, the Denver quiche. I thought I can make the quiche, because that'll be easy. You just basically make a quiche with ramen and stick it in the oven, so. Might be a neat mixture. I've got my ham. Remember this little container of ham here? This little package, little package of ham here. And then it does peppers. I'm skip the peppers because you know, if this is going to be made, and I hope my kids eat it, we're going to keep out the peppers. We'll maybe we'll do some onions in there, and eggs, and milk, and cheddar cheese, and salt and pepper. Really simple. So for the recipe on the screen, we're going to have a great day making ramen all day. I feel like my kids are going to go, Mom, you're the greatest. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, pretty much every of these ramen recipes it starts out with cooked ramen. So I've got my pot of water boiling here. I'm just gonna take the lid off and put the ramen in right there. Now my kids always get after me and say, mom, you don't make it correctly. So we're gonna do it correctly. You bring two cups to a boil and boil and cover for two minutes. We're gonna do exactly two minutes. Go from there, stir in the thing and enjoy. But they say to discard this, but I'm gonna keep this because I feel like someone would use this somewhere. So you cook your noodles, drain them, rinse with cold water. Then you take a pie plate. I don't have a pie plate because, you know, I don't have a pie plate. So I'm gonna use this one right here as my mock pie plate. It'll be more like a casserole dish. So you spray it really good. We're gonna spray it really good because I don't know how this goes. And then you just put the noodles, it says to press them in the bottom of the pan. Hmm. I don't think you really need to press them, but we're just gonna push them down. There we go, right there. We're gonna go like that. And it says bake in a 375 degree oven for 10 minutes. All right, we're timer cooking today because I don't wanna mess this up. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do while that's baking in the oven is I'm gonna mix up my, it's onion, ham, and you saute it on the stove, then mix up an egg mixture, we're gonna pour it on top of that. So let's try that, let's cut this up.
Okay, so following a recipe, because this is all new to me, it says to do it for um, 10 minutes and or until lightly browned. It's been about 15, and they're not even getting brown. They're just getting dried out. So maybe if I cooked them longer, they would be. I don't know. We're just going to leave them like, <laughs> like this. I feel like it would, I don't know. I don't know. But again, maybe most of you make this, and you can let me know. But we're just going to leave it like this. You put your um, ham mixture on top of the onion, put your eggs on top, and put it in the oven, let it bake. It says 35 minutes. We're going to have to see how that works. So all right, let's do that. All right, Denver quiche down. We'll see what you turn out like. Gotta bake it in the oven for a little bit. So that's gonna be breakfast. I'll show you that in a little bit. The next is gonna be lunch. I'm taking that from this cookbook and it is ramen crust pepperoni pizza. Oh yes, ramen everything. <laughs> so what I thought was interesting is they also had like ramen hamburger buns. Let me show you that in the beginning. Ramen burger buns. Basically cook the noodles and then it's eggs hold them together and then make buns. I don't know. I figured the pizza looked a little bit better, so we're going to see. So what I'm going to do is um, I've got my, I've cooked my noodles, which I'll show you here. Then it says to heat oil and skillet, put noodles into pan, press it down, cook for two minutes until golden. Then you're gonna pour spaghetti sauce over top of it with pepperoni, oregano, and cheese, and bake it in the oven. Sounds simple enough, let's try that. I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet for this. Okay, something I'm noticing about the ramen, it keep, the recipes keep saying, will be browned in 10 minutes. It wasn't browned in 10 minutes in the oven, and also in my pan here it says two minutes until golden. Yeah, they're not, um, they're not golden, so. I'm cooking, it's been about 10 minutes and it's still not brown, but I just, uh, I keep checking, I keep lifting up real gentle and the bottom's just starting to get like a little bit cooked. So what is that? Is that just wrong information in the recipe book? I don't know, we're gonna see, but it'll be interesting. So I'm just kind of keep watching it so it doesn't burn over here. It's getting there, not yet, but it will be. It's starting to crisp up a little bit. I just wanna make sure it doesn't burn. So then you just put your toppings on it. Spaghetti sauce, mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni. I have these big giant ones. <laughs> so we're gonna put big ones. And they broil it in the oven. Seems really simple. So then I'll have breakfast and lunch done. We'll see how it rolls. Okay, we're gonna be coming back to that because it's gonna broil in the oven, but I'm waiting on my first breakfast next. I'm moving right along. So what I'm gonna do next is oriental ramen salad. Like my sticky notes right here. Now I do make something similar to this all the time and really like it. I think it's Asian ramen salad. Basically you use coleslaw and you put the crunchy ramen on top. It's so good. I just did a little bit ago. This is a little bit different. This one is um, similar but just a little bit different. This one, I'm gonna just follow the recipe. Like it said, it uses um, evaporated fat-free milk, which I thought was interesting. Oil, vinegar, and sugar. That makes your dressing. So I don't know, again, we're gonna try something a little bit different. We can branch out and try things differently. So it does also use a um, oriental flavor pack. I know, I, I hope to look and see if I have that with my other one, because I know the kids have opened a package and they might have saved it. I'm gonna see, if not, I'm gonna have to use the chicken, chicken one. So what you do is you take two tablespoons of butter margarine in a pan, break up your ramen noodles and some almonds, sliced almonds. I have slivered almonds, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then you cook it on the stove just till it's golden. I know it gets golden. <laughs> so I'm using up my margarine here from my 1950s video because we don't usually eat it. So we're gonna do that while I'm waiting on the oven. Okay, I must be going super fast today. I'm still waiting on the egg frittata. <laughs> it's almost done. It says it has two more minutes, probably another couple minutes, and then I'll put my pizza in. The oriental ramen, the topping is crunchy, that's cooling. So I'm just gonna put my salad together. They said to use, um, what do they use? Romaine, 
radishio salad greens. I have spring mix. This oh, actually, it is romaine. Well, it's not romaine though. Baby lettuce. This is one I'm going to use right here. So, and then the ingredients. It says use carnation evaporated fat-free milk. I wonder why this, not just regular milk. I'm going to use. They say put in a blender. I'm just going to mix it with my. Um, immersion blender in hand that's gonna be the dressing so let's just mix that dressing up right now put the ingredient the ingredients on the screen put the salad together I know this will be good Okay, finally done. So this just came in the oven, really good. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna let it cool, obviously, for a little bit, and then I'll try it. Put the pizza in the oven. The dressing is not bad. Very surprised, let me set this down. I'm very surprised. I'm like, that's really not a bad flavor. I added salt and pepper to it, because I feel like I need that. It made it a little bit thicker. Would it do that with regular milk? I don't know, maybe it just did that with that. This is a lot of dressing, I find. <sighs> did I totally measure wrong? It's <laughs> two thirds cup of milk two-thirds cup oil that would give you a one and a third i feel like that just gave me a lot of stuff maybe it fluffed up i don't know but this is here i'm gonna put some greens on a plate put some salad or dressing on top and then we'll serve with the topping we're gonna do that later so i'm gonna put everything together at the end and do a good taste test let's move on to the next thing while the pizza is cooking it's broiling the oven just for a few minutes this is all gonna go really fast now so i'm just watching this in the oven here it's gonna boil it smells really good I bet the pizza one will actually turn out really neat. So just a fun thing to do. Something different. Maybe take some of those recipes to do with your family. A little bit different. I don't know. Just a fun ramen day. Because I know my kids love ramen. And like their friends love ramen. I see ramen merchandise everywhere. Everybody loves ramen. I'm not a huge fan of ramen. It's just not my favorite thing. But it's okay. <laughs> so, alright. Let's let this broil. We'll check it in a minute. kids got up and they're like I'm so glad it's a ramen day so Stephen took some of the egg mixture and said he liked it so that's good so that's it down so what I'm gonna do now is focus on dinner this is gonna be cheesy hamburger ramen now again it's basically a cheesy hamburger pasta but you're just replacing the ramen with the regular pasta noodles so I've got ground beef over here already cooking it has an onion but I've already got all those veggies in mine, so that's why I'm not going to uh, do too much. And I put a little bit of salt in there. I've got two packages already cooked in here. I'm gonna put my meat on this, and then I'm gonna go over there and heat some butter and make like the roux with the flour, milk, make a little sauce, pour it on top, put it together. We'll see, it says diced tomatoes. <laughs> now, some of my kids go, oh, there's a tomato chunk in there. So I'm gonna be the good mom and skip the tomato chunk and use the spaghetti sauce because I have a whole big container here from the pizza that we just made over there so we're going to use that instead of the diced tomatoes same concept just pure it up so let me pour the meat on this Can I just do a gather your fragment session here and add, I had a little bit of nacho cheese in there just to make it, cause it's the American cheese in here, but this is cheesy sauce here. And then I add my tomato stuff to it, which I will add, it's spaghetti sauce, but it says add ketchup. So I'm gonna taste it, see what it tastes like, cause the ketchup would make it sweeter, but do I need that with the spaghetti sauce? I don't know, let's see. Okay, I'll be showing you all those dishes at the end. We've been eating them not bad. The pasta one, I'm like, it looks a little like sloppy, but it does taste like a, tastes like hamburger helper, basically. I'll show you that in a little bit. So then looking through the other recipes, a lot of them are basically like lo mein. So adding vegetables, adding a meat, and then just adding the ramen. So I have freezer meals because I still have freezer meals. And I remember taking vegetables, which I'll show you right here, right here, and freezing them, the carrots. They still stay carroty. There's broccoli in there, there's water chestnuts, and then it's just some soy sauce, sesame seed oil, 
salt, pepper, and then there's chicken in here, shredded chicken. So I'm just gonna heat this up and I've got two packages boiling there. I'm gonna put that together and we'll have lo mein. Very easy dish to put together. Basically noodles. So you could use also thin like vermicelli noodles, thin spaghetti, or you can get real ramen noodles too. We're just using that because we're doing a theme ramen today. So heat this up, put it in a bowl, mix together, and there's ramen lo mein. So that was a lot of the recipes in there was basically a noodle bowl, which is here. <laughs> so they just give step-by-step -step instructions like adding the soy sauce, salt and pepper, but this will be delicious. So that's another ramen dish done. More recipes that were in there was like an Asian lettuce wrap. So I had Korean chicken, which is in my freezer, so I took it out and thawed it. And they have the sauce recipe in there. It's just soy sauce, sesame seed oil, sugar, salt and pepper. And then um, we shredded chicken and then put in lettuce, which I have here in a container. We use more like big chunks of lettuce because that's what I have. And then you can break ramen noodles or you can probably use, which I would do, is some of this crunchy topping for my salad on top to get the delicious wrap. So you've got some Asian lettuce wraps. Real simple. All done. Mine's a freezer meal, so I can't show you that one. <laughs> All right, another dinner dish done. All right, the last ramen dish I'm gonna do is dessert. I went back and forth. They had a couple different ones that looked really neat. They had open-faced s'mores, which basically it's ramen, chocolate marshmallows. That was simple. They also had this one. It was glazed noodle crunch. I thought that would look good, putting peanuts in cranberries, but I didn't have peanuts. So then they had chocolate ramen fudge, which you know would be good because the ramen would be the crunchy in there. So it'd be like, you know, either a nut or um, like pretzel pieces. But instead, I had this one, the Rocky Road Bundles. I thought this looked really neat. Thought it'd be kind of fun to do. Chocolate chips, peanut butter, ramen broken up, and mini marshmallows. So that should be really good. So we're gonna mix this one up right here. Just melt some chocolate chips in the microwave, put it all together and drop it on some wax paper. All right, so this is this looks really good. I added more marshmallows because gathering those up, there was only a little bit in there. Could have made them smaller, but we'll let them harden up and then we'll taste them. So let me get everything together and we'll try all of our treats because I am done making the ramen day. The kids have, Maddie said the what? The eggs, yes, Stephen came out and had the eggs. I'll try all the eggs, I haven't tried that yet. So let me get everything up, clean this mess up and we'll try all the food. All the food is done. I've got my chocolate in the freezer so it can harden up. So we're gonna try all and sample all of the ramen food we made. This are the eggs that I made, the Denver quiche. So Stephen came out and got two bowls of it. Maddie ate it for breakfast, that was good. So let's try. All right, I'm gonna bring my test taster. <laughs> Taste tester. I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of breakfast. So this is not bad. You wanna do your own? All right, what's That's good. It? This is the Denver quiche. Not bad. Denver quiche. What is, an, what is a regular quiche? Basically eggs and a crust. Eggs okay. and milk and a crust. This isn't bad. It's not, I mean, it's got ramen in it. Mm, I, like it? The, I already like the ham pieces in there. I'll say, it's basically eggs to me. You get a little bit of ramen. Not mm. bad. Basically, throw ramen in your eggs. I like that chickeny flavor. Yeah. In there. Not bad. All right. Not bad in the Denver quiche. Okay. All right. Next one, baby. We're going to do is the pizza, which is going to be hard to cut. Craig had to point out, he's like, honey, what is this in there? Look, I said it looks like worms, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <You're there. laughs> it's not. It's ramen. I couldn't tell if it was ramen or potato. Yeah. So it sort of looks like. Yeah, a little potato. Piece. It does look like in there. Pizza. Mm. The pizza's not bad. It's basically pizza on top of ramen, I think. So I'm going to try this one. Oh, I'm like loving this. this one? It's a weird combination of the chicken and the egg. Not bad. Yeah, I like it a lot. All right, baby. Plate number two. What's here? This is pizza ramen, that one over here. <laughs> mm. I don't know. How can you? Is it really stark difference? It's basically ramen with pizza sauce. <laughs> That's all it is. It's yeah. so weird. It's like. <laughs> It's like combining two of your favorite things together. If you like ramen. If you like ramen. I don't love ramen, Which I so do. yeah. All right, so I whatever. Mm. It's okay. That underlying chicken flavor under everything. Yeah, is well, amazing. that's the 
chicken flavor of the thing. Mm -hmm. Basically chicken bouillon and everything you eat. Mm. Okay, this was the salad here. This was that creamy dressing with the crunchy stuff. Let me try this. Yeah. I'll leave the rabbit food to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Mm, it smells pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. I'll stick away from the salads. Greg, <laughs> Greg said, leave the rabbit food to me. I like this. This is really good. So, next one, basically lo mein with noodles. Mm. So, what is lo mein? Lo mein is a Japanese dish or? Asian. So, basically, soy sauce and spice and mm -hmm. delicious lo mein. That okay. is really good. But you could do the same thing with noodles, but not bad. No, that's really good. Okay, not bad. bad all day. Then, this is the. I think I already had some of this. He actually had a bowl this for breakfast. It's like, it's smooshy. You're gonna have to eat it like right away. I let it sit. Tastes like hamburger helper, I think. Yeah, it, this is, I think, uh, I don't know. Let's the, see what the I, breakfast one. Was not bad. Well, we can't guess to your end, but you gotta try oh, them all. Hold on, let's try. I really like this one. Yeah, it's like hamburger helper. More rabbit food. More rabbit food. Greg's like. not gonna eat this one, so <laughs> I'm gonna eat this one. This is the lettuce wrap with the crunchy ramen topping. Cut this out. All right, Greg was pleasantly surprised. Oh. Usually when you see the green lettuce, he's like, um, that's for you, but you took a bite and said not bad. It tastes like the pot stick that we get from mm -hmm. the restaurant that we go to. Not like bad. a cold version of a pot stick. It's really good. Bas no, it's it's really basically good. a Pip Chang lettuce wrap. Yeah. That's what it is with the crunch. So that's good. So I pulled these out of the freezer. They're not completely frozen, so we're just going to pick the frozen part, babe. <laughs> we're just going to be a good pick the frozen part. I'll eat it off your finger. <laughs> I guess we'll love those for sure. Yeah, it's so not bad. Marshall, I'm not a big marshmallow person. Yeah, me neither. I should have made the, the um, what's it called, fudge. Yeah, I don't really do sm s'mores. No, I don't really like And that's one of the things was a s'more, s'more but not bad. So, all right, if you had to choose to eat one of these things all day long, babe, what would you uh, eat? Oh my goodness. Maxine's like smelling. She's like, I would I probably do the, to like the tomato based one. The tomato bake there? The yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that was probably my favorite. My favorite? Lettuce that would be my second runner up. That's my favorite. And the salad. I like that too. I'm not, mm -hmm. like I said, I'm not a huge ramen person, so cooked crispy ramen is my favorite, but and, not bad. And the, the egg was amazing too. So, yep. what's kind of interesting and cool here is that, like, you can, if you just wanted to have a fun day, you know, for the family, cook something different, it, it, you could, you know, do your breakfast, lunch, and dinner with ramen. With ramen. That's yeah. what this whole video is <laughs> ramen oh, all day. Okay. <laughs> Ramen all day, all day, every day. It's okay. He just appeared out here with food. He's like, I smell ramen. Can mm -hmm. I have some? So, not bad. So, not too bad. Okay. No, really good. Good little Kids day. Kids love it today. They will. It'll be a good little treat for them to eat on here. So, perfect. All right, babe. Sweet. That's it. Peace. Adios. <laughs> Thank you for taste testing in the Enjoy kitchen. Enjoy your ramen cooking. There you go. If you want to, not bad. I guess if I were to make some, I'd make the salad and the lettuce wraps, but not bad for the other thing. This you would make and eat it right away. Don't let this sit, it's gonna get mushy. Pizza, just something fun and different. They also had tacos. Basically make ramen and stuff it in a taco shell. Something different for kids that would think that was fun. So, all right, I'm finished up here. I'm gonna clean up and then be done for my day. So I'm gonna be finished, get my apron off here. Got these aprons, I got these ones. You guys know I wear aprons all the time, love them. The problem with aprons is when I used to get them like way back in the day, Walmart, their first aprons were linen. They did not wrinkle. I love those aprons. If you look back on my blog, I have aprons that I got at Walmart. They were made of linen material and I love them because they didn't wrinkle because the ones you get now, they get all wrinkly and then you put them on and they're all like wrinkly and I don't iron. I'm not an ironer, just not my thing. So whenever I see a linen one, I'm like, oh, I need to get it. So I got this pack here on Amazon. They're really inexpensive. I got this one and this one came. Really cute. They have these ones, I think they had some blue ones too. But I always like to share my products. I'll link these ones below the ones that I got, just anybody understand and relates, linen versus the cotton ones that get all wrinkly. So I like these ones. We're putting them in my pantry for another cooking day. So I hope you enjoyed today's video of ramen all day. Pretty good, not too bad, something different and fun to do. So you guys have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Remember, you are designed, created, and selected by God to do great things on this earth. And once you figure that out, oh, nothing can stand in the way. And it's an amazing journey. So have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.